So we are in the forest because I decided to build in this video an air quality monitor. Why? Uh, why not? That's the first thing. Uh, air quality is a big problem in my city. It's definitely far from being perfect. So I thought, well, let's monitor that. Let's see how good the air is inside my room and in my city. This project is not going to be sophisticated when it comes to electronics and programming. I will keep it as simple as possible, but the thing that I want to focus on is actually the design. I want to make it look cool. And to do that, I will use a 3D printer and my CNC machine in the middle. Ivan already drew some designs of this thing. As you can see, I have a lot of different ideas, but I think I will go with this one because uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, the green light right here indicates the good air quality. Of course, there will be also a red light and maybe something like orange. Uh, this thing is actually just a, a ring of LEDs, RGB addressable LEDs, so we can actually choose different color for each LED. Mm, I will design this case in Fusion 360, prepare the G-code for in the mill, we'll machine it out of wood and most likely also 3D print the bottom part out of, you know, like PLA, white, black, whatever. Uh, so, I think now I will just prepare some pieces of wood, put them on the indie mill, but firstly I will start 3D printing because it will take a while to print the bottom part. Uh, and then we will focus on milling on the indie mill. And if you have any questions about indie mill, because there are not a lot of updates, it's because I have a lot of work because of this project, but I will tell you more about that in next videos. Uh, and I'm also planning on making some updates to this machine and I already ordered a lot of parts from AliExpress, I am waiting for shipping uh, and we'll add a ton of upgrades to this machine, it will be hopefully really cool uh, but right now let's focus on the air quality monitor You may ask what kind of wood I will use for this project In Polish we refer to this kind of wood as a uh, stary kawałek łóżka. In English it's something like an old piece of bed and it's basically what this piece of wood is. When using such rare kind of wood you have to apply some pre-processing to this thing before putting it on the milling machine. Uh, in this case I have to remove naturally existing pieces of metal uh, in, this, in this perfect wood for this project. Machining on indie mill was great as always, I really like playing with CNC machine. I faced some problems, but fortunately it was just about my design that wasn't really great. Uh, so I changed a few things and at the second try everything was totally fine, the parts looked amazing and after the sanding, just perfect, it's literally perfect.
So then it was time to start working on the electronics and programming, which again, super, super simple in this project. Uh, the communication between the air quality monitor and Arduino is actually done for serial, so this is super simple. And for the NeoPixel ring, you have a great library by Adafruit. Uh, it's super simple to use, just one wire for communication, and of course you have GND and 5 volts. I power this stuff uh, through a USB, so you can like power it with a phone charger or anything for a USB on your computer, whatever you want. So after uploading the program, testing different stuff and debugging the code, because you always have to do that, it was time to put together the case. So I just used a few screws and a little bit of cold glue, which again, I'm not really proud of, but it works fine. Uh, and the case was ready, everything was assembled, it was working fine, so it was time to test it. And in the end, I have to say that it works great. I am really happy with the result. It looks amazing, just like I wanted it to on the paper and hopefully the air quality monitor actually has a nice accuracy because I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but definitely it's better than nothing because right now I know when air quality is really terrible and when it is just good enough. I also decided to introduce few colors for this monitor. We have green when all of the levels of PM1, PM2.5 and PM10 are below the max value that is like acceptable. Uh, we have the blue when one of these values is actually bigger than it should be. Uh, we have orange when two of them are bigger and we have red when all of them are outside of the, let's say, range. I hope you enjoyed this very simple project. I definitely did. It was great to go from a simple idea through the design, through manufacturing and final product. It was great to just jump on the project without too much thinking and without over engineering it just pure making like the good old days. It was great. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you need code, files, anything, there is a link in the description. And now I will just enjoy this fresh air in the forest. Happy making, bye.